Here on the quayside in Harwich, the Kinder's first steps to freedom have been immortalised. It's the largest ever recorded migration of children ever, um, and to remind others who don't know about it of the sheer humanity of welcoming and caring for refugees. I'm so upset, I'm sorry. Oh. The Kinder Transport was an organised rescue effort of Jewish children from across Europe to Britain to escape systematic persecution by the Nazi regime. They organised for me to come to England into the arms of strangers um, just to save my life. It was a nightmare journey, um, but we, it was organised. I mean, it was not like some of the scene, scenes of refugees you see. Um, there was a train of a thousand children uh, with just two, two adults. But they had done something which I thought was very brave. Well, the port of Harwich was the first place that the Jewish children would see when they first arrived in Britain on the kinder transport. It's thought that 10,000 Jewish children were saved during this humanitarian mission. And now 30 of them have returned as adults to thank the town and the people that saved them. I remember the, the Dutch ladies who were kind enough to bring us biscuits and so on. <laughs> you know, one's, one's not that much used to kindness there and so it was a very nice thing and then people in Britain are, I thought they were angels <laughs> as the statue was unveiled emotions ran high now this statue captures the moment when the first ship the SS Prague arrived in Harwich in 1938 and the very first children walked down the gangplank and the girl at the front is just putting her first foot onto safe ground. That's the moment that we've captured. It's five life-sized children, each expressing one of the many different emotions these children must have felt. So that one at the front is confident, forward-looking, the girl behind her is, is curious, timid, she's holding the hand of someone who's anxious, nervously nibbling her name tag, and the boy at the back, is looking back up the gangplank. So that, you could read his, his expression as homesickness, or perhaps it's a nod to the Holocaust. The fact that 85% of these children never saw their families again. 10,000 children came through here and, and integrated into our country. They've had children of their own, they've had children, grandchildren, and so forth. And it's, it's a fantastic part of our history and our heritage. The statue of Jewish children walking to freedom will serve as a reminder that out of the very worst of humanity came the very best. I just feel more, you know, the, the nature of human beings, how they can descend so far. You know, it, it's a frightening. Well, that's why this sort of Commemoration is, is useful because it reminds people what can happen in the world. Ellie Costello, GB News.